welcome to this GitHub CLI pull request tutorial. If you haven't seen my introduction or first look and hands on to the GitHub CLI tool, then just click on the card above and that'll take you to that. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna go through and see how easy it is to create a pull request from start to finish using the GitHub CLI tool. So what I'm gonna do is I tried to think of one that was okay for me to just sort of make a pull request for anything. So the one that I've chosen to do is the NPM expansions repository where you get to name what NPM stands for. It's easy as that really. So yeah, we're gonna make a pull request on the NPM expansions. So let's just give it a clone. So git clone, there we go. So that's the repository all cloned. Let's just cd into it. So once I've cd'd into the npm expansions, let's just try and have a look at one of the tools. Let's have a look at npm pull request list. And here we can see a significant amount of pull requests. Let's just test how the view works then. GitHub pull request view. We will use number 2856. Such a fantastic tool and so easy to use. Right, let's focus on ours, shall we? So, the readme says to edit the expansions.txt in order to add what you want. So, let's open up expansions.txt. Let's search for not and add it in here. Good. Let's just get add that. You can see the change that we've made. Added my change not prepared mentally. Cool. So there's the commit. Now, rather than just going ahead and pushing it straight away, let's try and use the pull request. So, in the same repository that I made the changes, GitHub pull request create. Create. Title, not prepared mentally. Nobody, submit. Is that everything? Is that complete? Let's find out. Let's have a look at GitHub pull request list. And right there at the top, you can see my pull request. GitHub pull request status. And there is my pull request, plus my previous one that I made a long time ago, but you can clearly see it right here. GitHub pull request view 2874. And there we go. So it's all there and all good to go. So you can probably agree that that was significantly easier to make a pull request than it is in the GitHub browser. All I had to do was clone, make a change, and then type in the GitHub pull request create command, follow the simple steps and submit. It was that easy. Absolutely fantastic tool. Hopefully it gains more traction, gets a bit more known. But uh, if you like the video guys, then leave me a like, comment, let me know what you thought about the tool. Let me know if you started using it yet and uh, subscribe for more videos. Thank you.